Hey you guys, Erin here at Eat Me Rest and today we are back in the kitchen again because there is a question that we get from you guys all the time. How do you cook without oil? Oil is the most calorie dense food on the planet. It's a completely 100% refined fat. It's been stripped of all of its fiber and its water and other content that a whole food would contain. So rather than opting for the avocado oil, we like to say opt for the avocado. Rather than olive oil, opt for the olive. An easier approach would be to incorporate healthy nuts and seeds into your diet instead. So flax and chia and hemp seeds are all a great source of omega-3 fatty acids. And while yes, oil like olive oil has purported health benefits. Do the benefits that come with oils outweigh the drawbacks? We say no. So oil is also laden in saturated fat. Saturated fat can damage your endothelial cells, which basically equates to being super unhealthy for your arteries and ultimately for your heart health, which heart disease we all know is the number one killer. So now that you know why, we're gonna show you guys the simple, easy and effective ways to not only cook without oils, but to actually boost the nutritional content of the food you're eating. So when we're looking at oils, specifically, olive oil has about 120 calories per tablespoon. Coconut oil has about 130 calories per tablespoon and they have virtually no nutrition. Whereas if you're looking at a medium sized sweet potato or a mango for instance, these are gonna have about the same amount of calories but so much nutrition including protein, carbs, fats, so many vitamins and minerals. It's like unreal. So it's like why don't we opt for more whole foods? Now obviously we still need some overt fats, but why don't you opt for something that has a little bit more flavor or crunch like hemp seeds and chia seeds or avocado. We're not afraid of fat. We just think that you might as well be eating a whole food version of the fat and therefore getting some more nutrition. So there are a handful of vitamins that are fat soluble. In other words, you need to eat fat in order to absorb them. And a lot of people argue that this is why you need oil. But again, you don't need oil, you need fat. So as long as you're having some nut butters, some nuts, some seeds, some avocados, you're going to be absorbing all of those vitamins that you need without the oil. Also, let us not forget that if you're looking at a lot of these vegetables and fruits, even things like quinoa, they actually do have a little bit of fat, which is kind of perfect, right? These foods come wrapped in a perfect package to deliver and help you absorb everything you need. Personally, I've never really been afraid of calories. In fact, I eat as many calories as I can because I'm so active. Erin and I are both always exercising, so we're cramming calories. But as I mentioned before, if I am gonna be eating a lot, why not be packing in as much nutrient-dense food as possible? Besides all of that, what oil does to me personally is give me acid reflux, indigestion, and these are part of the reasons I went on a plant-based diet in the beginning was because I wanted to feel better. And so yes, we go out occasionally, we'll have some pasta at an Italian restaurant or some Indian food that has oil in it. While it's okay once in a while, it doesn't bother us or make us worry, it does make me feel lousy my acid reflux comes back, indigestion, weird poops, like you name it, and it really all comes down to the oil. And so it's like, well, we're at home, let's just avoid cooking with it. Again, we still are eating plenty of fat, we're just eating whole food versions of fat. So now the big question, how do you cook without oil? First and foremost, if you really want the most nutritional bang for your buck, steam your food. Honestly, steaming your food is one of the best ways to preserve as much nutrition as possible, more vitamins and minerals and enzymes that remain intact. In fact, a lot of times when we go out to restaurants, for example, one of our favorite Asian sushi restaurants back home in Nebraska, we always would ask for steamed rice and steamed veggies with a little bit of soy sauce, and it was amazing. So we have been loving our brand new Biodeem Intelligent Food Steamer for this very purpose. I love that it's beautiful, it's compact, it's multifunctional, and I can do multiple dishes all at once without having to babysit it on the stovetop. And because the kids like white rice, we like brown rice, I'm gonna cook and steam both underneath. And then on top, I'm gonna add some veggies and some tofu, and we're gonna have a whole meal in minutes. So we love sharing our latest kitchen gadget and appliance finds that make cooking more easy and effortless, because honestly, that's what it takes to 
to sustain this long term. A lot of times I'm in a hurry, running back to the bedroom to get ready really quick while food is preparing, and this has been a game changer. I love that I can stack everything and cook it all in one. It takes up less space, it takes less cleanup, and I love that I'm cooking in glass with stainless steel and ceramic. It's all non-toxic. I can literally make an entire meal for the whole family in minutes. It's so quick and easy to use. And the rice was cooked to perfection. The steamed veggies, the tofu were so flavorful. Big thank you to Bydeem for teaming up with us and sponsoring today's video. I've left you guys the discount code and the link in the description. A few of our other favorites would be our air popper for oil-free popcorn, our air fryer. We always make air fried tofu and potato wedges our stainless steel pans. Yes, we can saute without oil with stainless steel. Whether you're baking sweet potato fries or potato chips or maybe your favorite muffins or banana bread, again, we go oil-free very easily with a few simple swaps. We typically take a stainless steel baking sheet and line it with parchment paper or we'll line it with a Silpat silicone mat and the same for muffins and things like that. We use silicone trays or stainless steel lined with parchment paper cups. For my favorite superfood brownies and my strawberry banana muffins, instead of using oil, I typically use a fruit puree or a nut butter. So for fruit purees, applesauce and mashed bananas and a blended up date paste all work amazingly well. And if you're wanting to add a higher fat content, say more calories for kiddos, add in some nut butter too, like almond butter, peanut butter, sunflower butter, or tahini. Max's favorite is cashew butter. So these all work really well instead of oil. Stainless steel. A lot of people recommend non-stick pans, which of course will help and make it easier. But if you avoid Teflon, like the plague, like Aaron and I do, stainless steel works. We put our onions, our garlic in here with a little bit of water, start the saute process. A very hot pan helps to get your veggies browned quicker. And then you will need to continue adding a little bit of water to keep things moving around because water does evaporate like oil doesn't. So a little bit of water to start, keep adding the water and you can saute. We've been doing it this way for years. Or like our Dutch ovens have an enamel coating on them. Those are our two top picks and both work great. So while I did mention our air fryer, we do still often just throw things in the oven. So sweet potato fries and wedges. The most important thing is to make everything a uniform shape and size when slicing so everything can bake and cook thoroughly at the same time and temp. You may need to leave things in a little bit longer to get that brown and crispy texture if that's what you're going for. Otherwise, if they're a little bit softer, you're still gonna get that same flavor as long as you're remembering to season it. Sometimes we'll just drizzle a little bit of water on top and then add our salt and pepper and whatever spices and seasonings we'd also like to include. My mom kept making these amazing, really thinly sliced potato chips for my little nephew Isaiah when they came to visit and then we were all hooked and we've been making them like every night since then and if you think about it again going back to caloric density with and without oil if you were to bake potatoes like that on a sheet it'd probably be a couple hundred calories and I could eat that all to myself and feel full and satiated without that extra calorie and extra icky feeling due to the oil whereas if I were to eat a whole bag of potato chips it'd probably be well over a thousand calories and I wouldn't feel great and roasting very similar to baking I'll put all of our potatoes, sometimes Brussels sprouts for Thanksgiving. One of our favorite dishes is a roasted root veggie stew. So beets, sweets, again, Brussels sprouts. I put all of those things chopped in here. Again, same similar sizes with a little bit of water, salt, pepper. I'll cover it with some aluminum foil, bake that. Take the aluminum foil off and actually put it on the broil setting towards the end and you get an amazing roast that tastes so good and again i could eat the whole plate to myself and be just fine whereas if you had a bunch of oil in there it's going to make you feel lousy and it's going to be packed full of unnecessary calories and dips and dressings honestly again lots of quick simple fixes when i'm making a salad all i honestly do most of the time is mash up a good ripe avocado with salt and pepper and splat it on top and mix it into my salad. And then I drizzle on some aminos or coconut aminos if you want kind of a sweet and salty combination. Another favorite of mine is tahini mixed with lemon. That's just a very couple of basic two ingredient dressings that I literally eat on repeat 
that contain both healthy fats and like a savory salty taste to them. It's perfect, it's simple, and it's replicable. That's most important when it comes to sustaining this lifestyle. It tastes good and it's easy to do. I have actually taken a raw food culinary course and this doesn't have to be like a simple and plain and mundane way of eating and cooking, it can actually be very gourmet. You can also play around with ingredients like other citrus fruits, fruit juice, vinegar, herbs and spices, both fresh and dried, and lest we forget, nut and seed butters. Beyond dressings, looking to dips and sauces, like our favorite oil-free hummus, I find it very helpful to just puree things like chickpeas and beans and different vegetables like potatoes and carrots. We have a creamy mac and cheese that the kids go crazy for. We also include some flavoring like miso and nutritional yeast. And again, just simple salt and pepper. And these are so, so good and they're nutritious. The best thing is they're not just empty calories like oil is so you can eat a higher volume of these foods get more nutrition more bang for your buck feel satiated longer without the negative effects of oil we actually had so much fun with the kids just this last weekend making an oil-free pizza and an oil-free pasta that were to live for I remember back in high school I would get the pizza bar because I was so tempted but I would also grab a handful of napkins and just dab and dab and dab trying to get rid of as much excess oil as I could even back then before I knew and honestly that stuff is baked in so instead why not just opt for oil free so if you guys want to check out our creamy one pot pastas our mac and cheese our pizza our oil free hummus all kinds of baked goods like brownies and muffins check them out in the meal planner and in our ebook linked below and let us know what you guys thought of this video do you like these nutrition type videos leave us some love in the comments below make sure you're subscribed join the eat move rest fam follow us daily on instagram at aaron stanzik and at db stanzik and until next time eat move rest your best bye guys there are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better eat move and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.